Just hello, welcome back to Giant Wheels. Let's go. Alright. Uh, that's all there is for me here, I think. I probably should have checked right before I brought us into the episode, but I didn't. If this is all there... What? Are you serious? Oh! Oh, that's useful! Do, do we just win now? Come here. I have the power now. I have the power glove. Oh, it's sidestep me. Oh, interesting. It doesn't care about mushrooms. Okay, well, that's that's a thing. Game balance just goes out the window. I mean, not fully, but... Okay, that's all we need here. I kind of wish I could bind these to, like, something else. Like that empty B slot? Uh, B is what I'm using to run mostly. Uh, I was thinking more like X, Y, or Z. But why am I still running? Is my question. Why would I not just. Uh, well, okay. Like, I. Ow. Oh, that's nifty. It's the, what I would spend that 10 gold on anyway. This is, like, so good. Just one-shots everything. Uh, except that thing, apparently. Okay. Oh, I bounce off these. Yeah, let's get the spiders out of here. Oh, he's already respawned. <laughs> yeah, you spawn point went off the screen. <laughs> Alright, whatever, whatever. So why are we not just using an angel wing to get us out of here? That's my question. That's that's what these are for. Egress, get me out of here. Alright, so we come over here, and then... Is it this way? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you ready for more nonsense? Oh, yeah. What does that do? Okay. Also, I'd like... Interesting? I'd like to point out that that said you can go get a hint in the forest. It didn't say go to the forest to proceed. <laughs> like, it said go get a hint. Is this the cave again? No, this is not Gudo Cave. Okay, I need to go back to Gudo Cave. That spawn point is so dumb. So I think Neutral has played this. I'm gonna ask Neutral, like... He told me he found some of the stuff in Shining Force 2, like, by himself. Because he just was pushing A on every single wall. I'm like, oh, did you use every item in this game on every single wall? Oops, I... Thought I had the other thing equipped. <laughs> Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Alright, I'm gonna go buy another of those real fast. Good job, buddy. Thanks. This game is only unbearable on the surface. <laughs>
<laughs> Meanwhile, it's someone's favorite game. <laughs> I'm just complaining about it. If this is you... Did I... No, I don't think uh, somebody told me this is their favorite game. Somebody told me Holy Ark was their favorite. But yeah, is this is this your favorite Shining game? Let me know. And please list some reasons as to why. I'm not like hating this so far, but like... It definitely... It's is... just different. It definitely is designed for you to, like, know what you're doing. Because there's times I'm like, oh, I feel bad, like, consulting a guide, and then it's like, never mind, when I see what the answer is, I don't feel bad at all. Or you spend $40 on the guidebook, because the internet didn't exist back then. <laughs> yep, or you call the Sega hotline. Okay, let's go back to Gudo Cave, I guess. Oh my god, move. That's gonna be just my mantra for this move. I will stab you, move. There we go, up here, down here, around here. There we go. Alright, I just want confirmation this is where I'm supposed to go. And then I think I know what to do, if I'm correct. Not my face. Alright. Ah, uh, I know what we're supposed to do now. Uh, there was like- I just figured it out. Yeah, there's like the, uh, stuff across the chasm. Yeah. I'm assuming you use the hand to hit the other button. Yeah. So that was... Uh... Okay, yeah, this is where we're supposed to go, yes. Alright, so it's not here. It's to the left somewhere. Oh my god. Well, at least you got two medical herbs out of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh. We crashed and I didn't get that again, so now I did. This is like the most overpowered. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know who my dad was? Giles. Is... <laughs> he had three of them. <laughs> Just ends up looking like Kreia from Knights of the Old Republic with the floating lightsabers. I don't know if you played that. No. Oh, the final boss of that game just has, like, three or four floating lightsabers. Alright, let's explore around here. I think that might not be the way to go. This probably seems more likely. Oh, do I have to jump down on more things? Possibly, but isn't this this, uh, starting? No. No. No, this is definitely not the starting room, because... Those guys weren't in there. Alright, you wanna pick one between these three? Uh Well, last time it was the bottom one. Alright, you wanna do the bottom right one? Yeah, might as well just knock them all off one at a time. Alright. Oh. There we go. Alright, now I can... Alright, let's start knocking them off. Nope. Oh, goodness. Well, that looks like a whole thing. It's a lot bigger than I thought. 
I, I can just copy and paste that audio for every single map so far. <laughs> Alright, bye. This one? Nope. So uh, I asked Daniel if he had played this one. He said he made it about 10 seconds, realized you had to mash to run, and then just uninstalled it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Alright. That was like my first experience with Shining in the Darkness. Oh. Why do you say that? Do I have to mash loaded to run up. in that? Loaded, too? loaded it up. So, saw the first cave and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> not well, today, Satan." This is a labyrinth. Oh, there's no mini map or anything. Yeah, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I am at some point. I think I spent a grand total of like five minutes playing. <laughs> uh, ah, ah! Oh, what is this? Wow. Ah! What are these? How is this allowed? I definitely was not expecting that. You weren't expecting cloud monsters? I'm shocked. Well, it was a nice little chill game for a minute, and then next thing you know, oh yeah, there wasn't half the screen is just enemy. <laughs> <laughs> is this the thing that it told me to run under in the bookshelf? Maybe. Got another one. All right. These ones are so fast. Come here. Darn it. I'm doing the full on gamer lean. I gotta sit up. Hey. Wow, you got one. There we go. Hoo -ha, hoo -ha, hoo -ha. I am Victoria. Yay. Oh, cutscene? I knew you would come. You, the one true of heart. Oh, it's the old lady. Oh, dang. I have called Gudo my home for many years. No one from Odagon has ventured this far into the cave since Sir Giles. As my day, Ed. That's right, Mars. The battle between your father and the dragon began here. Oh, it did? Apparently, Odagon's king was wise enough to tell you to start your adventure here. Ha ha ha. I'm sure you're probably more than a little confused at the moment, right? <laughs> oh, we are very confused. <laughs> I mean, you were told to seek the fairy of the valley, and you get me instead. Go for it, Mars. You've come exactly to the right place. Ah, you say. But you are not the fairy. Hee hee hee, do not let I shield the truth from your heart, young Mars. Perhaps the one you seek has this appearance. No, well then perhaps this. Oh my gosh. Ah, how about this? Or maybe even Oh, this. definitely not that one. Hey, it's the fairy from the- was the one that yelled at us in the beginning? It's the fairy from the beginning. From the, uh, intro. Mm-hmm. You see, Mars, your eyes deceived you. Remember this lesson. But now we must get down to business. The kingdom of Odagon is in far more danger than I suspected at first. The king is a smart man, but even he would not suspect his very daughter of being a traitor. What? So this kid did know the whole time. <laughs> I'm certain he has no way of knowing the daughter that stands before him is a fraud since he will no doubt have you committed if you claim his daughter to be an imposter. You must find the true princess, and present her to him as soon as possible. <laughs> I found this duck with a tiara on it. 
<laughs> I've got a goose with a tiara. This is your daughter. Only then will he understand what has truly happened. Will he? <laughs> Kazort has turned the real princess into a swan, and she is wandering the mystic wood. Now, brave one, but take this with... Oh, go now, brave one. But take this with you. Oh, with it, you can talk to the Trents to gain more information. What are the Trents? You've recovered... That tree with the face on it? Oh, yep. Yeah. Treant. Trent. I see. Once you've recovered the princess, take her to the Millennial Tree. The hermit there has the knowledge to return her to her normal state again. Whisper conch. Okay. Uh, how do I leave? Oh, okay, the door opened. Alright. Well, I'm wondering if there was another secret. Were you about to tell me to angel wing? I was gonna say now would be a great, be a great time to use the angel wing. <laughs> oh. Okay, I fell, but I didn't fall. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I'm like, is there? Okay, so we went that way. Is there more? Uh... You know, I'm kind of curious. So those buttons there. Could you push them from down below? These? Yeah. Uh, I can check. Because if you can... Could you, you technically just, like, walk up? Ah, oh, no, it does... It does... There is a Y-axis. Or I guess it's Z-axis. Alright. I guess, I guess we're done. It'd be kind of funny if it would work as like an elevator. Quick seizure, and we just wake up back at the uh, entrance. Now, I'm going to change items. There we go. Oh, learning from the mistakes. We do that here occasionally. Alright, but like now what? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we gotta talk to the tree people. Uh, okay. And at this point in the game, we still don't know any magic. No. No, we do not. The magic is the boxing gloves we've made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so to leave, we go this way. Right? Yeah. There we go. You really have to match to get that five. Like, I have to, like be really thinking about it to get up to five. Yeah. Alright, uh, here we go. Watch this not be, be what just, you do. Just be thankful that, like, pressing one extra click doesn't reset it back to one. It does. Oh, oh wait, it's no, not... I see what you're saying. No, it does not. I'm still curious as to how this was a hint. Uh, oh, that's an item. Here... That means you gotta go... Unless this is... Poop. <laughs> Alright, so what if I just, like... Oh, okay, if I just use it, it does nothing. I think you have to use it on the tree. Oh my god! <laughs> it's terrifying! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, alright? Just, just don't hurt me. A swan with a magical tiara wandered past here. My friends say that she wandered carelessly into the giant spider's web at the top of the forest. Of course she did! I'll instruct the tree blocking her out to move if you promise to rescue her. You know, why wouldn't you attempt to go home instead of deeper into the forest? I have no idea. Maybe Especially she when you... doesn't, like, retain her memory. Maybe she's just a goose. Or a swan. <laughs> nah. Nah, she's just intentionally trying to... Especially when you have flight and you can see. Did I just come all the way back around? Yes. 
Alright, uh, I don't want to use the guide. I want to see if I can find my way through this real fast. He sat at the top of the forest. Ten minutes later. Mm. Okay, that's a sign we're going the right direction. Never mind. <laughs> Or I don't have any clue what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Oh god! Hey, I found one of those giant spider things. Yeah, I mean, don't, like, freaking play a cutscene or do anything <laughs> to tell me. That would be ridiculous. You know, it's like a cop-out to just use this boxing glove for everything. I'm gonna sword this. <laughs> I believe in myself. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Yes, it does. Remember, you gotta believe in the heart of the bards. It's the heart of the bards? Yeah, it's like the heart of the cards. Oh, there's the... Except... Swan. It's like the heart of the cards, except... For fantasy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I believe I can defeat this because my name is Mars Shining Force. Yes! Wow, the power to believe in yourself really works. <laughs> Give me my reward. My goose. I know what you are. Dinner. Oh, right, right. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know what you are. What? You can understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You're the one who came to save me the night Pazor turned me into a swan. I knew in my heart that you would find me. But, Honk, what shall we do? I can't return to my father like this. Oh really? That was... that was what the fairy said. He'd have me for dinner before I knew <laughs> he knew I was his daughter. I'm sure you have a master plan, so I'll just follow you. Um... Mars, isn't it? Mars Shining Force. That's the name! What? If I talk to her again, my UI just disappears. She's like... That's... Hey. It's probably trying to summon dialogue, but it can't because there isn't one. Oh... No. <laughs> Is this an escort? Oh no! An escort quest? Yeah. Do you see how she walks? What is that? Well, you get a little... The wings probably aren't fully working after being caught in the uh, spider web for so long. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's lore behind this. <laughs> Alright. Can you slip through cracks? I would assume so. Small little thing. Yep. Alright. I'm assuming the sprite is that way just because you're going slow. If you went like really fast, it probably catches up. You think? It's probably trying to... You, you it probably is like a full animation. You wanna make bets on that? Well, the way this game is going, we <laughs> can assume that that's probably not the case. But <laughs> there's always a bit of hope. Alright, so where on earth are we going next? Where am I taking the goose? To the butcher shop. Oh, are we just ignoring every- okay, okay. Yeah, we're just ignoring everything that they just told us. It's fine. This game, like, I can't listen to any of the things. <laughs> it's just like all the hints in the game are wrong. They are! Okay, yeah, d does that look right to you? Does this animation look good to you? The animation looks right, it's just playing way too fast. 
All right, let's get like. And that's the problem with it. Let me get a good five run going here. There you go. Yeah. All right, let's let's get in here. This is where we're going, right? Did I go the right place? Yes. Okay, let's. Yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. Well, now I can just buy. Get two Another more. hundred of those. <laughs> I mean, I can get a couple more of these, yeah. But then I need to get more uh, angel wings. Because we haven't learned egress somehow yet. Alright, there's one. Uh, I'll just get, like, a couple. There we go. Oh, I don't have enough money. Alright, this is not a charity. Oh. Oh, no. That's not what I was trying to do. There we go. <laughs> Makes me feel better. You like my goose? I have scammed you with these books. Oh, okay, now we're still here. Hey, the dialogue didn't change for once. Yeah. I can't believe, like, I'm just being chased by a swan now. Alright, so we actually do take... Despite the game telling me, do not take her to the king, apparently that's what we do. So, Maz, I trust that you met the Gudo fairy and received the Whisper Conch. Mm, very well, then. I will inform the king of your progress right away. Since you have finished that quest, perhaps your next quest should be to the Millennial Tree. You see the king has fallen gravely ill since your last visit. Again? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, if it's not one thing, it's another. The sap from the tree should be just what he needs to return to health. What is that, that beast doing in the castle? Don't you know livestock is forbidden in here? Out, out, out! And don't you look at me like that, you, you foul. You're gonna die. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, the princess is like, I live here. <laughs> So, can we not go see the king? Pro probably not. Is this the king? Yep. If I question my daughter's intentions, it doesn't mean I love her any less, right? Why is it I can be so kind to a swan, but not my daughter? Something's wrong. Hmm. So I think the daughter's poisoning him. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's snippy. But I'm not a doctor. Well, yeah, that would. <laughs> Looks like you're getting fired. Yeah. <laughs> and by fired, I mean hung. <laughs> I personally find your choice of associates amusing. But the Chancellor may be less entertained, shall we say. I would stay away from him. You know, it's strange, but the swan has the saddest eyes I've ever seen. It's quite odd. Why would he not tell his mentor of all things? Uh, because it's not like I'm capable of amazing things or anything. Like, why would they believe me? Why would they believe this could happen? <laughs> Nothing this crazy's ever happened. We just experienced fog that put everyone to sleep. We know that there was plots to overthrow the kingdom. I mean, yeah. And plus, we have the highest title, and we've achieved that in, like, record time. Oh, okay. I was like, is there anything else? I don't really want to go, like, explore this entire place, because the map is huge. Is there anything else? The answer is yes. Yes, there is, actually. Because you know who else we should talk to. Our buddy that's still sleeping. Oh, we should check in with him. No, that was not my answer, but yeah, we should do that too. Um, did I go the right way? Oh, no, I didn't. I know it's shocking I get lost still, but... Okay, this way. I see that you managed to find that scamp Satyra. Too bad no one will believe you. I mean, why should they? When the real princess stands before them. 
And unfortunately for you, that is what they think I am. The real princess. But this juicy little fowl should make a nice treat for father. You know how he likes swan liver pate. Pate. Haha. <laughs> Ahahaha. Uh, are you gonna notice that maniacal laugh? Even her morning routine is different. She asked a guard for the key to the royal treasury in the middle of the night. At least that's what I heard from the guard posted outside. I don't trust her. Yeah. I mean, fair. Because you are not insane, you're noticing these things. Oh, do I talk to her again? That's interesting. The guide has different dialogue. The guide says, Sir Mars, where did you find that swan? It looks like she has class. Huh. That's odd, and I wonder why it's different. Maybe because you already talked to the king or whatever? Uh... No? No, he already did that too. Hmm. Unsure. Oh, he's just leaving. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go talk to our buddy. You are absolutely right. Who is still sleeping after all this time? Mars, congratulations. I heard that you rescued the princess. Oh, this is still the same. I like the swan, but hey, don't you think that knights have better things to do? I don't think the king promoted you to be some kind of zookeeper. Another guy that's gonna die. I think that uh, the guide and I are using different translations or something, because these are all different dialogues. Could be. Sleep magic bites. When you left to do the king's bidding, I expected great things. Pet swans were not on that list. If you're promoted because of your distinguished service, please don't forget those of us mindlessly toiling away in lowly peon land. I will not forget you. But I do need to know what we're doing now. Oh, okay. I can just do that and restore my health, I guess. Alright, I would imagine we leave now. So, yep. To go get that tree sap. I guess. Which, you know, if it's such an important commodity, the king should have just barrels of it sitting in the treasury. You I know, mean... in case such an occasion happens. Yeah, but then what would he send me to do? Well, then he wouldn't have to pay you as much. I'm getting paid? <laughs> no, but that's besides the point. I don't know if you noticed, Sir Maz, but there's a swan following you. I did notice that. I'm running around in a suit of armor, wearing boxing gloves, and I have a swan with me. What? <laughs> Definitely the most bizarre shining game. I, I don't know. I haven't gotten... I, I'm like, it probably gets weirder than this. But who knows. Okay, so we're going to the Millennial Tree. Um, without consulting a guide. Does this just tell us where that is? No. Uh, but there's like a sign here. No, okay, there's a sign over here then. Does this help me? Gudo Valley, Mystic Wood, Desert District, Sand Labyrinth. Okay. No, I don't know. There's no way you go no. back in that cave again. <laughs> no, it is not back to Gudo. It's on the way, though. It's this other cave that's around here. I don't remember where it is. I guess I could, like, glance at the guide again a second, though. Alright, um... Yeah, this game could have benefited a little bit from a world map, methinks. Yeah. Yeah, down here. No, it's here. 
this is where we're going. So this one is what? Oh, okay, we're going to the West District. Through Creepy Cavern. Oh, yeah! Can't be any more creepy than the ca the uh, crypt from earlier. Yeah. I don't know, he's pretty unsettling. Okay. Is this swan just gonna, like, fall? What was that? So is okay. the swan just following me the rest of the, the game? I guess so. Personally, I would have probably dropped it off Grandma's house, but, you know. Yeah? Just, like, a little... I mean, you're... The kid's grandpa shows that, you know, he's... He's at least able to, you know, fight off some intruders, probably. So... Do we not want to go through that more? Can I not read that? Hello? Can I do it from the side? No? Behind? No, I can't get behind it. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Is that all I needed? Nope, that's it. And that LS meter has a fire in it now. Lord of Shining. Oh my gosh, it's a bunch of Pokemon. Boy. What is this? Why is it... Oh, it does hurt me. Does the front not hurt me? I don't... For a second, I was like, oh, I talked to this? What does this say? Seekers of the Shining Sword must find the West Cape. Once there, submit to have your worthiness judged by standing next to the Black Wall. Okay. I don't know what any of that means, but okay. So let's look around here. Trying to get some money recouped, but somehow still only those spiders are worth money. <laughs> The only game, the only mob in the game, despite slaying some bosses and everything else. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. The bosses didn't really give me anything. Not in terms of like advancement like that. All right, I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just gonna stick around the outside here. And I could check the guide, but like, let's... This map is almost larger than the castle. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps oh, going. Wait. Sand Labyrinth. Uh, okay, well. That's probably not what we want. Danger. Volcanic activity ahead. Jumping proficiency required. Um, do you think you could move so that I don't immediately take a hit? Please? Yeah, that was fair. Oh, this looks like it's one of these. It's not. Nope, it's not. There we go. I have no idea where I'm going. Or what I'm doing. Uh, that's something. What, what is in he? the world is that? My first thought was like fish person, but like. Oh, that looks like a bunch of money. Is that five? Oh wait, I can now. Oh well, it despawned immediately because that's what happens. He <laughs> opens off the screen. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Oh, there's two of them. Uh, Man, everything's just getting bigger. Yeah, of course. The flying monkeys that throw bombs. What? What else? You didn't play Shining Force one and a half? Hmm. Where those were established. No, actually, that was Shining Force one and three quarters. Oh, my mistake. I've only played it through one and a half times. What? 
right. there's a lightning bolt thing yeah. there, which I'm assuming you gotta use the... It's a hobbit village and water labyrinth. Use the transport panel to cross the river. I don't know how to do that. Well, I'm assuming that panel there is if you have electric spells. I've got bolt. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Well, can't do that. Okay. Um. What? What is this? Hey, I found it. Oh wow! You better be impressed with that, all of you. Uh, it's Link. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, traveler. Have you come in hopes of seeing the Millennial Hermit? It's also my nickname. I just sit inside and record all day, and they're like, oh, that Millennial Hermit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, we've come in hopes of seeing the Hermit. Then let me give you a tip. This tree is very particular about who it lets pass. But if you hit its knolls, it will pull away its stickles for a time. Okay. I'm gonna make a save here. I have no recollection of what happened. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, to get here? <laughs> yeah, it's so convoluted. <laughs> yeah. I liked that the swan for a second was just staring, like, endlessly. But I think that's where we call this episode. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We found the great Deku tree, and Link is standing outside. And now we're gonna go meet the Millennial Hermit, so... Thank you for coming along on this journey. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking of this so far, and we will see you next time. Later!